what an amazing director we had. I mean, because from the start, it was like you knew you had clear direction. And of course, that's John Roger. And he introduced us to Helper and to Utah. And to know you had that foundation, because it's where Jarrah's family's from, was the way, the way things just opened up. And having David Hinkins, who's a senator of Utah, was just like the nicest, nicest man. You could just tell immediately the connection with JR, him, the whole family line. There was just this open arms kind of thing. And so once they got on board with what we were going to do, and they introduced us to the towns and the people that we would connect with, and it turned out to be like a lineage of friends. And once we had that going, all we had to do was just show up because the doors would just open. And so we get introduced. We actually, I can't remember, did Zeus just, oh, I, here's, a, here's a great part of the story. When we were out just scouting, we thought we were going to be in this bigger town called Price. And we were starving. Zeus and I are on this scout. It's just him and I, and we're hungry as can be. We go into a little coffee shop, and we said, you know, you know, can we eat here? And they said, no, I'm sorry, we're closed. But just go to this town helper. And my, my, I think we were like, no, we want to just eat here. And they're like, no, go, please, just go to helper. They, they'll have a nice little restaurant there. And there was really some resistance. And we was like, all right, well, we'll go check it out. And so sure enough, we show up, and wow, this is kind of an interesting town. And then the minute we got there, it all became clear because we went into this restaurant, had a nice meal, and we said, well, who's the owner? And Zeus goes over and introduced himself, and she kind of lit up, and you could see the connection, and that was like the first seed of that town that just began to be, that we knew it was gonna be our home. And so we had some nice dialogue with her, talking about what we wanted to do, and she says, well, I own this little motel, hotel, I don't even know what the heck she called it. We ended up calling it the brothel because it was a brothel many, many years ago. So. Uh, we went and saw that. We said, my gosh, this is it. Restaurant, open space above the restaurant on the third floor, and this place where we can stay. And it was this quaint little town. It was like the vision came forward. And so that's for me, as from a producing aspect, that was like the central hub. And that's the part I'll remember because everything funneled from there, no matter what. And then the last part I'll just say on that is the people were so receptive that no matter what we needed, from cars to clothing, um, it just places to shoot, it just came forward. And down to where we finally got the police officers on board and they were like our friends. And when, you, when you're in a production, when it's kind of unpredictable, you need those kind of resources. So that part of the way shower is uh, pretty fond of my heart. My character was Rick and if I got to play myself and in a way. But what I really, the part that touches me the most is, um, is that Zeus put me in the movie. And it was, I mean, I guess from an acting point of view, I'd like to have been a character and come up with some, you know, better role of it. But it, for me, it's hardest for me to play myself. And to know that he included me in that way was really, uh, that was huge. I really appreciated it. And I know I couldn't have been in the movie, though, without the approval of JR. So I go back to that, which is the bigger picture for me is, number one, if you're allowed to produce the movie, and then JR's going to let me be in the movie, and it's a JR movie, and to me, that's, that's where, where this comes from, is, is my appreciation and my love of JR, and, and also that director guy, Zeus. And from a producing standpoint with the movie, it, there's so many elements in a movie that, that come into play. Um, everything from cast, crew, locations, permits, there's a lot of elements, and when one of those things gets dropped, um, it can make movie making one of the worst uh, experiences ever. And I always held a focus with my intention is, I'm here for one main reason, was to make JR's movie. That's what I held to. And there were a lot of turbulences between crew, myself, um, errors that were made, but you always, rather than falling apart, I had to come back and hold to what the intention was and not waver from that because I was going to see this movie through to the end. But in that, it really wasn't that hard because I had, we had support. We have here's Zoe Golightly, who's been f instrumental in this entire production, no matter what it takes, is always the kind of person you can rely on. She worked really closely with SAG and all the management. You got to see her, see her skills um, and her experience of being able to talk to people at that level. And it was really a breath of fresh air for me because it's something I don't like to do. I don't like to deal at that level with actors and managers. So she held that part. Then we brought Kelly Raleigh on board, 
which was great because Kelly and I already had a working relationship and Zeus wanted to be a part of that so we brought her in so she was my right hand person as well so she, I could rely on her in that capacity. Zoe's handling talent working directly with Zeus as well so we had a nice production house team and from there though every day you know when it fundles to the production you have all those elements all day long. Locations lined up, are the permits lined up, do you have the release forms? So there is certain protocol to make this movie work and, and Zeus is very much like this, everything's got to be legit. Um, there were times also, I'll never forget, we're always questioned, do we do this to legit or do we not? And those are temptations of movie making all the time. And in a JR movie, you, you just got to do it always the right way, regardless. We weren't going to allow any loopholes or any temptations to, to, to not do it the proper way. And so that's one thing we wrote this entire production is integrity, doing it the right way, dealing with SAG. Uh, we had, and we had SAG hiccups, by the way. Um, the hiccups were challenges of uh, how we were treating actors. or It was interesting just to see the rumors that were bad, that somehow that were started. And we had to put those out. We had to confront SAG right away. Hey, come check us out. We're treating our people better than most productions. And in the end, that did get squashed, that that wasn't correct information. And so you don't want to deal with that during a production. It's, it's, a, it's a distraction, but we got through that. Um.